Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So we are at week 87 of my keto journey and we're gonna talk about uh, the challenges a little bit this month and the dreaded food addiction and the damage that it caused uh, in the two weeks that I lost control. And we're gonna talk about what I am doing right now as we speak to repair it. So let's go. All right guys, so thanks for clicking on this video today. Uh, if you are new to me and my channel, then welcome. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button and be a part of my YouTube family. I give results video every Wednesday. I also do what I eat in the day videos. I'm losing my weight through keto and intermittent fasting. And my channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight and conquer this food addiction. So make sure you are a part of my journey. I would love to have you join me. So we are going for a walk. We're getting our steps in. I joined Derek's Journey's Steps Challenge uh, this month. And I am also a team captain. And the teams were picked randomly on Saturday. And I am so happy with my team. Shrinkables, we are going to crush it. We are going to crush it. So I am actually not someone who gets a ton of steps in, okay? My personal goal is 8,000 steps because then that forces me to get a little workout in every day and just to be consistent with exercise and making it a priority. I am definitely not someone who gets like 20 to 30,000 steps in a day. I just, with my life and my time, you know, I just don't have a lot of time, but that doesn't mean that I can't do a little extra, right? So my advice to you is just to set a personal goal for yourself. Don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. Everyone is different. Everyone's journey is different. And we need to set realistic goals for ourselves that push us a little more, pushes us to do a little bit more than we're used to doing. So 8,000 is a good goal for me, but on the days that I have more time, I'm going to push myself to get 10,000 steps in. We could easily make excuses, you know? We don't have time, we're too busy, we're sore, you know, like I have a back injury, you know, like we can always find excuses not to do something, but that's not how we're gonna grow. That's not how we're going to change. That's not how we're going to get healthier and stronger. So we need to stop with the excuses and just do what we can. When Derek messaged me and asked me to be a, one of the captains for the steps challenge, um, my first thought was cool, you know, <laughs> thanks for thinking of me. And then I started thinking, Thinking, well, I am not someone who gets, you know, thousands and thousands of steps in a day. Can I even be a captain? Am I even qualified to be a captain? And of course, the self-doubt and comparing myself to other captains, other people who are just crushing it and they just get all those steps in. And then I was like, well, no, I can be a captain because it's really not about winning, you know, because in my book, everyone wins. You win if you don't give up. You win if you keep trying. You win if you push yourself. You win if you meet your own personal goal. You win if you believe in yourself and you just do a little bit more than you did yesterday. That's when you win. So we're all winners. You know, if we don't quit, if we don't give up, if we keep pushing ourselves, we win. We are all freaking winners, guys. So if you're someone who has a hard time getting 5,000 steps in, make that your goal. If you can easily get, you know, 10,000 steps in, then set a goal for 12,000. Just push yourself to do a little bit more. And when we're consistent every single day, we're just going to get stronger and stronger and better and better. And I believe in every single one of you. I am so excited for my team, um, but I am rooting for every single one of you. You know, there are teams, but really there is no competition because we're all winners, like I said, and we're all doing this together to support each other and just win together. All right, guys, so if you are on my team, I want you to comment below and tell me what your step goal is. And if you're not on my team, comment below and tell me which team you are on and what your step goal is, because I am excited to hear it. I am excited to cheer you on and do this together. Are you excited, guys? Because I'm excited. I'm excited for April to be an amazing month because March wasn't. And I'm just, I'm ready to get back on track. I'm ready to crush it. 
oh, I'm ready to reach my goals. So let's do it. I also joined uh, Derek's Beast Mode Challenge as well, which is whoever loses the most weight in April wins the challenge. And we're going by body percentage weight, so anyone can win. And I just recently got back on track after two weeks of uh, allowing my food addiction to take control of me. Like, it literally took control of me. And I let it, I let it happen. It is what it is though, you know, I can't change the past. I can't change the mistakes that I've made. What I can do is stop. I can stop it in its tracks. I can turn around and start heading in the right direction. You know, every day we wake up, we have a new opportunity to rise again, to succeed and just keep pushing ourselves to do what's right. So I'm gonna get my walk in and then we're gonna go sit down and chat a little bit about the damage that was done from those two weeks and guys, you're not gonna believe how much weight I gained. So we're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna talk about what I'm doing currently to get back on track. So see you in a bit. All right guys, so now's the fun part, right? So it's never easy to talk about the mistakes that we make. It's never easy admitting to them. I think we try to cover them up somehow in our, in our brains and try to justify it, but I think we just need to come out with it. We just need to admit what we've done, um, you know, because we may have things going on in our lives and because it happens, you know, we make mistakes, it happens. And the sooner we can just get it out, admit it, we can forgive ourselves and we can move on and start doing what we know is right. <sighs> and announcing to a whole bunch of people is a different story too. But that's why I made this YouTube channel, right? To hold myself accountable and to let you guys know that you're not alone, that if you struggle with food addiction, you are not alone. It is a real serious issue. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. All right, so if you didn't catch my last video talking about my addiction and how I kind of blew it uh, for two weeks straight, that's what I did. And I saw that I was up on the scale and it was a lot because that's the keto life too. When you start eating carby, crappy, sugary foods again, you gain a lot of water weight. And so that's what happened to me. And so I stopped weighing myself and I knew I was gonna be starting the beast mode challenge on April 1st. And so I said, okay, I'm gonna weigh in on April 1st, see what kind of damage has been done and then just start over, just get up and try again, right? We just start over. So a couple weeks ago, I was at 219 very close to one of my first goals, um, 216, which would be my lowest weight after having kids. Really wanted to reach that goal in March. That didn't happen at all. So April 1st, stepped on the scale so that I could send it over to Derek for my starting weight for the Beast, Beast Mode Challenge. And I was 235. So in two weeks, I gained 16 pounds. Guys, this is what addiction looks like. That in two weeks, two weeks of making poor choices and binging, two weeks of that, I gained 16 pounds. Like, I try to wrap my brain around that. You know, like, obviously there is an issue. I have a problem. I have a food addiction and for me to gain that much weight in two weeks, I lost all control. I lost all control. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on it though, uh, because it is what it is. Like I said, you know, I can't change it. I can't change what has been done and I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. I'm just not because yeah, I made mistakes. Yeah, I let my addiction take control of me. And that's something that I need to learn how to, to be better at. I need to learn how to control my addiction because I have learned so much in the last 87 weeks about myself, about my, my addiction, about you know the obstacles that I face, so much. Because when I started this journey, I honestly thought that I was going to conquer my food addiction, meaning that it was gonna go away. I wasn't gonna have it, you know, like I was gonna get rid of the addiction. That was what I thought was gonna happen. After 87 weeks of being on this keto journey and really 41 years of living with a food addiction, I still lose control 
today, just like I did before I started this journey, just like I have my entire life when I, when I go through those episodes of, of just losing all control, it's still as strong as it was before. And so I've realized that I'm always going to have this addiction. You know, I, I thought that I would get rid of it. I honestly thought that I would, you know, find f freedom, which yes, I do believe that I'm going to find freedom in food because you can still have an addiction, but you can still live with freedom. And that's what I'm going to do, you know, and I'm just learning so much about myself. And each time I fall down, it makes me a little bit stronger. And so in a way, I'm kind of thankful <laughs> that this happened. I'm thankful that, you know, I kind of blew it those two weeks because it made me realize that I'm always going to live with this. It's always going to creep back up. But if I can just stay stronger, if I can stay stronger than my addiction, then I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be able to find that freedom that I'm looking for. But I think that I was just confused thinking that I was just going to get rid of it. And it was just going to be gone one day, you know? So my vision is kind of changing a little bit um, as far as what my future looks like and what, you know, having that type of freedom is going to look like. Because I do believe that I can be stronger than my addiction, you know? That doesn't mean that I'm not ever going to fall down. It's not, it doesn't mean that it's never ever not going to creep up on me again. I think it will forever. But if I can just stay stronger and just get back on track, you know, I went a little too long this time. Um, and I, I, it was it was mostly because um, the challenge was starting April 1st and I wanted every pound to count for the challenge. So um, it's an excuse. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it was my excuse this time why it went a little too long. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Right. We can't change it. What we can do is just move forward. Refocus, you know? But I refuse to give up. I am just gonna keep going, you know? Like, I'm gonna fall down and it's okay, it's okay. Am I proud of myself? Absolutely not, you know? I, I, I see what I did wrong and I see where I kind of let it go too far, where I could have stopped it. I could have stopped it, but I didn't. And I just kind of fed that addiction because it felt good in the moment. It just felt good to eat those foods again and feel feel the 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 relief i guess the that temporary relief the temporary joy that comes from eating those foods and i guess i just wanted to feel it i wanted to be excited about eating those foods again i i wanted i wanted to feel it and so i let myself feel it was it worth it no, <laughs> 16 pounds in two weeks, okay? You wanna look at it in another way? I was 232 at the beginning of this year and I dropped 13 pounds in two months and I was so excited. And then I started April at 235, completely erasing everything that I have done for the entire year. That is addiction, guys that is addiction, how it can just get so completely out of control. But like I said, we're not beating ourselves up. We're just not because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm going to forgive myself. I, I know that I have an issue. I know that I didn't do this on purpose, you know, to sabotage myself or my journey. I didn't, I didn't do this to hurt myself, you know, I did this because I have an addiction. I have a problem. I have a problem, but I'm going to rise up again and I'm going to get back on track. And this is how we're going to do it. So if you know me, you know that I love a good old egg fast. And so that is what I plan to do. My weigh in day has actually changed because of the beast mode challenge, but my results video is still going to be every Wednesday. So I'm actually weighing in on Fridays now instead of Mondays, which means that I'm just gonna have some extra days to film and edit my video for, for Wednesday. But weigh in day is actually gonna be Friday and then I'll post those results on Wednesday. So April 1st, I started the keto egg fast, which is Friday and I am now filming. It's Sunday. So I'm on day three of the egg fast and guys, I'm going to film a video for you guys going up on Friday with my egg fast results and 
you want to tune into that. So this egg fast video is actually going to look a little different than my other ones. I'm not going to be showing you my meals uh, that I'm eating because I have so many already and I have a playlist full of uh, keto egg fast meals and recipes and the rules and uh, my results and everything. So I'm not doing anything different than what I've done in the past. So what I'm doing though is showing you the emotional side of getting back on track after two weeks of losing all control. Because, oh wow, I struggled. I struggled. It was hard. It was really hard. Um, and it, it still is. It, it's, it still is. I'm still, I'm still going through it. But I wanted to just share kind of my thoughts and feelings on uh, getting back on track and just kind of leaving that lifestyle again. Um, so that is what uh, Friday's video is going to be. I don't know what my end result is going to be because I'm only on day three, but I am going to be doing five days of the egg fast and then I am starting carnivore. And so I would like the first two weeks of April to just be fasting. Five day keto egg fast and then carnivore for the rest of the time. Depends on when I want my veggies back though. So if I can do that long of carnivore, then I will. Um, but I may want a salad. I don't know. I like my veggies. So that's what I plan on doing because I'm so excited about the Beast Mode Challenge. It just motivated me to just get back in it, get back in the game and reach my goals. And the Keto Egg Fast is a fantastic tool that helps me get back on track. So yeah, there it is. My results starting April at 235, but I know that a lot of it is water weight. And so it's just, it's gonna come right off as long as I do what is right and I I get back on track. And that is what I'm doing. All right guys, so that is it for this video. Uh, don't forget to comment below if you're on my team and what your step goal is uh, for the steps challenge. Also comment below if you're on another team, tell me what team you're on and what your goal is as well. Because yeah, we're gonna rock this challenge. Also, if you uh, have a hard time getting your steps in, uh, if it's raining outside or if it's too cold, like it is here in Maine sometimes. Uh, it was a beautiful day today though. It was a great day for walking. If you have a hard time uh, getting your steps in, uh, tune into YouTube and these amazing creators. Gavin from Smithy's Fitness, he's putting out uh, these great videos that are like 15 minutes long. You can get uh, 2,000 steps in. Val has some great workouts. I did an hour workout with her on Saturday and just had a lot of fun. It's so fun doing it with other people, working out with other people and holding each other accountable. And Val is just super awesome. She's so sweet and I love her positivity. She just exudes warmth and just positivity and she just makes you feel good. So definitely tune into her channel if you want to get some extra steps in. Also Kirsten from Kirsten Quick Fit has some workouts as well. And you know, we're all just in this together to help each other out. And especially where April is the steps challenge, you know, all these workouts are going to be focused on getting our steps in. So I'm going to link all their channels down below if you want to check them out. But let's not make any excuses this month. Let's just get it done and do what we know how to do, because we got this. We are strong enough to do this. All right, guys, like this video. If you did like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables, if you are not part of that yet. We would love to have you over there. All right, guys, stay safe and choose health, and I will see you at the next video on Friday with my Keto Egg Fast results. It'll be a good one. <laughs> Bye, guys.